he really may not be a man's man because he said his girl got him smoking. So you like to be what? initiated. You're not the initiator. What? Because what? Yeah. my girl got me smoking. Some say like you like to what you else like she to got follow. You, you not you don't like to lead. And I'm just I'm very um comfortable in who I am. True. Honestly, I like that, Jay. Uh, that's make that what makes me more of a man's man. Any if if you want to be technical. Yeah, because I wish I could tell my nigga what to do and he listen. Damn, that's, that's unfortunate. Because you want a maid, not a man. But he's a maid. He's a maid. He said he listen. I'm a maid. He's not a I maid. Listen. You said you. What makes you a maid? I don't know. That's Dad's word. What makes you? What makes somebody a maid? What Trishana's looking for? Yeah. Okay, my friend Trishana Hill is looking for a man to come when she's out working all day like today. Mm-hmm. When she goes home, she want him to be sitting there on the bed, dick out, ready to rub her feet with some oil, maybe have cooked for her, um, fuck her good. After she gets fucked, she want to lay back down, get rubbed on, talk about her day. She want to go to sleep before him. Him watch her sleep to make sure nobody comes in the house to, <laughs> to get her. Hmm. And then, and, and when he can go to sleep is when she wakes up to go back to work. So let me ask you something. <laughs> Are you, you, you want to pay for that? And you she's know, willing to pay. I am. Not him per se. But when Where the comes, camera at? We're hiring right now. For a man? For a man. Hiring right now to do everything that dad said the following. And she's hired. We will negotiate man. the price. Yeah, she mm. pay for full that time required. So you gonna pay for that dick? You know, save them. All right, so let save me save who? Save them and throw them back. Save. If I'm requiring that much out of you, I will take you from your job. And when I'm done, with you, I'll take you back to your job. So wait, we you say you can't you can't deal with a guy that got a job? Do you have a job, Jay? Yes. Okay. Well, I cannot deal with you. The reason why I cannot deal. <laughs> No, she no. said it as a, like it was like an option. Like, no, it's not an option, and that's what I was going to say. Rule respect to your girlfriend. That's not that's not what she's I. She's not going to take it personal. Yeah, she don't. Know I we can't take nobody that got a job either. That's why I said I, was, I don't not, want though? nobody with a job because Cause if, if we want to go to Jamaica yeah. to see your girl's family, and you and, can't because you got to tell your, when it comes. But you can't to, tell them like, oh, I gotta go to Jamaica tomorrow. True. Like you I don't gotta have to. no. But when it so comes you could just leave your job. I mean. Anytime, like right, like you told us, we had to push the time back because you didn't get off work till a certain time. Like that yeah. already is like a hassle. Okay. No, but it's a red flag. for me, no, it's not, a red, it's not a red flag. But for me personally, because I know when a lot of people say, "Oh, I can't date a man with a job," a lot of people on the internet take it to offense. But me, mm-hmm. Destiny, cannot mm-hmm. date a man with a job one because I'm very spontaneous and I need wait, 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 Jay, before you get to leaning back and breaking the chair. What I'm saying is, and I also need a man to understand where I'm at in the moment that I'm at. Like, I probably will have a week where I work so much, and then I have a week where I don't work at all. You get what I'm saying? So as an entrepreneur, it's like it's very up and down, mm-hmm. and I just want somebody to understand the mental state that I'm in. Sometimes I get really, really depressed because I always have to show up for people. Mm-hmm. So then I'll be like, I-, I want a man to be there to comfort me during that moment. I just feel like a so man. So you want a maid, too? I don't want a maid. I want a man. We not the same. Bro. It sound like you want him to be there too. No, I don't. It's different, fam. With all due respect, because you didn't call me like so many names, I can say this. With all due respect. Oh, he, oh, he about to get it off his chest. Get it off your chest, Jay. Spit it out. Say it with your chest. Back to the wall. That is just, it's just, it's just. Say what you, you got it say. fucked up. I'm I got it why. fucked up. Okay. Yeah. Because just because a, a guy has a job doesn't mean that he can't understand the things that you're going through. Okay. Just because a guy has a job doesn't mean he's not an entrepreneur. Mm. Um. And since we're talking, since we're here, yeah. right? This is my first time ever having a, a corporate job. But mm-hmm. you, if you don't get really, past what made the, you t- what made you go to the job? Um, to support my lifestyle because uh, my passion isn't um paying for the type of life I want, and I'm, I'm the type happy of happy that you have a passion. I'm right? a, I'm, a, I'm the type of person that's gonna get it no matter what. Mm-hmm. But so what's before your passion? that, right? I mean, pa- yeah, mm-hmm. podcast. So I just you, I have three so jobs. So you work to pay for this? Yeah. So instead Absolutely. of doing this full time and reaching out for like sponsorships and all that, you go to work. You think I don't do this full time? No, I'm just asking. I do this full time. So then what time do you go to work? Uh, I go to work around like eight in the morning. What time do you get off? Depends. Four or five, but I'm Okay, I'm then what doing... time do you start podcasting? Probably eight in the morning. And then what time do you start? Wait, you start podcasting at eight in the morning or eight at night? I have to edit. I have, oh, to, true, true, I have true. to reach out to sponsors. But so what time do you come here and then what time do you stop? I come here whenever I need to. Okay, so what time? Whenever I need to. What time Today is that? could be six. Tomorrow could be four. Okay, what time do you end? I don't, honestly. So what time are you leaving here tonight? So you mean to tell me you put 40 hours into this, the same 40 hours that you put into your job? I don't put 40 hours into this. What do you do? I probably put like 100, honestly. Mm, yeah. With that, why no are you cap. at work? 
Yeah, I like when I'm working since it's the interrogation. But what, since I'm working, it's I'm not. editing. No, it's fine. I'm editing. I'm uh, on phone calls. I'm emailing people to get guests. Uh, I think I probably reach out to y'all and talk to y'all while I was working. Mm-hmm. But I'm still working this job. But I say to say back to you. I don't. I don't fault because you can have your own opinion. You can True. have your own preference. But True. what I would say is, I feel like when when you say that you can't date a guy with a job, you don't really get to know his his background, right? Like like this is my first time having a job, right? I could be a hundred percent entrepreneur, right, or somebody else, and you missed that. But go ahead. I like and this that. is what I would I like say. That. Thank you. You know, respect to the man's man. Respect the mic. Respect the man. True. Respect the mic and respect the man. What I can say is, everybody is not equal, and everybody is not made the same. So everything is not for everybody. And I respect you having a job to fund your passion. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I scam to fund mine. And Show then me I when we done. <laughs> no, no, no. I told <laughs> no, God I would never. Though. I told God I would never scam again if he just showed oh, so you me just something lied. else. Oh, okay, okay. Go I ne- I didn't lie to God. I don't lie to God. No, you just lied to me. I said I scammed. Oh, she what said he did. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, okay. I said I scammed to fund my passion. Do you mm, get what I'm saying? Mm. So I respect you for doing something to fund your passion because that could be temporary. You know, having a job for you could be temporary. That that might not be what you see for the rest of your life. Mm-mm. But just to take that time to sacrifice to do that to fund a passion like this, in a few years this shit might blow up, which I think it will blow up. Mm. But for the person who I am in the space that I am in now, that ain't for you. It ain't for me. That's perfectly and fine. I will say too, all you gotta do, look at me. All you got to do is write you a good business plan and get you a little loan to get you the funding to do this. Cause mm-hmm. I would have had to find a way out. 